It's October. The weather is turning colder. We're in the middle of a pandemic and it's flu season. This could be a recipe for disaster if you don't get vaccinated. Our Christina Laurie spoke with a local pharmacist about being prepared for this flu season. Flu shots are even more important to get this here. Joining us to talk about that is Birgitta Monson. She is a pharmacist. She knows firsthand just how important these shots are. Good morning, Birgitta. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So health experts, many of them, are warning of what could be called a twindemic, the rise of the flu on top of COVID. Can you talk a little bit about what that means and why that could be so dangerous? Absolutely. So the fear in the pandemic, as the CDC and a lot of our medical experts are saying, is a big concern, especially with the flu vaccine, or sorry, the flu having very similar symptoms to COVID. And the fear is if someone would come down with the flu, they would present to their healthcare provider and those symptoms are very similar to COVID-19 symptoms. And it would cause our healthcare system to have to act extra precautiously to take care of that patient. And also the fear too is just with having two different viruses running, it will overload our healthcare systems. And our healthcare system is already getting more and more, more overloaded. We see the hospitalization rate go up here in Wisconsin, the number of COVID cases too. So who exactly should get vaccinated for the flu? What age groups are most susceptible? Absolutely. So CDC recommends anyone six months and older to receive that flu vaccine. And we recommend if you're on the fence about receiving it to stop into one of our pick and safe pharmacies to talk with a pharmacist to determine which flu vaccine is right for you and if you're a great candidate. But most people are a great candidate to receive that flu vaccine. And for all the parents watching out there, it can be hard to get your kids on board with getting stuck in their arm. Any tips for parents that might be trying to convince their kids that they do need to do this? Yeah, absolutely. So that is a very challenging thing, you know, trying to convince your, your young child to go in and get that vaccine. But just, you know, reminding them that, hey, if you're doing this, you're protecting your friend, your family, and kind of tie it back to how life's been for the last several months where, you know, with that flu vaccine, it does help, it does work. So just remind them that. And a small little reward afterwards always is a nice, a nice um, treat for getting that flu vaccine. But it's quick, it's painless, you're in and out in under a minute usually when you get that. And I know in past years, sometimes there are headlines that they, different places run out of the flu vaccine. Is that any concern this year, especially with the pandemic going on? It is not a concern this year. So CDC recommends just to get a flu vaccine. There are many different types of flu vaccine, but they all offer great protection from the flu. So we recommend just stopping into your nearest pick and save pharmacy to talk to their pick and save pharmacist to talk about which flu vaccine is available and which one is a great one for you. But at this point, we're not concerned about any shortages. And any gauge or prediction on how long this year's flu season could last, how bad it might be? I know numbers down in the southern hemisphere can often help us predict how things might look for us up here. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't speak to that right now. Um, it's too early on in the flu season, but all we recommend is go in and get that flu vaccine, especially just to protect yourself, your family, your friends, your community from that flu vaccine or from the flu virus. No, no downside except for a um, little momentary pain. We can all take that, especially right now. Yes. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning, Birgitta. And a reminder, you can get your flu shot at Pick and Save, Walgreens, your local doctor's office. There are so many different options. Have a great day, Birgitta. Thank you. You too.